Yes, good afternoon to all. In the last class, we discussed about plant breeding. What are the steps of plant breeding? And uh, how the plant breeding is carried out by traditional methods? How we are doing the creating new varieties are developed in India or all over the world. We are developing varieties to improve the agriculture, to improve the productivity, to satisfy the requirement of growing population. So in the last class, we have seen that how the plant breeder or scientists are developing new varieties in the field of agriculture or plant breeding. So we discussed five stages that include uh, selection of varieties or germ class and collection. We are collecting varieties from different parts of the world. Then we are selecting two plants with good characters are selected. That is called selection of the parent. Then we combine the two organisms by crossing or cross hybridization or cross pollination. And from the hybrid, and we are, when we are combining characters together, we get a hybrid or a new variety. From that hybrid, we select one with a superior character. The good character is selected, selection of the recombinant or new plants, hybrids. Then that selected plant with the good character is multiplied and it is released by releasing committee and is made available for cultivators. So, five steps are there. So, uh, collection of germplasm, collection of variety, then selection of parents, crossing, testing and uh, selection of the superior recombinant and uh, releasing and commercialization. Five stages were explained in the previous class. So, that is the method adopted in the place of plant breeding. Then see, today we can discuss very small topic, how, which are the examples, in which for that purpose we are using the uh, plant breeding techniques in India. And you remember that in India, it is a country based on agriculture. It is seen that 33% of the GDP, you might have heard about a word called GDP, gross domestic productivity, not in national economy, India, 33% of the GDP is from agriculture because India is based on agriculture, our economy is based on agriculture. So 33% of the GDP is coming from agriculture and remember that 62% of the peoples now also get employment. See? The 62 percent of the percent of the peoples get income from or employment from agriculture. So especially not like other countries, our India is basically our economy, our employment, everything is based on agriculture. So remember that we have limited space land. You know that we are the most populated country of the world. So, we land resources are limited because as a result of our population or development, the land has been reduced, they are used for some other purpose. So, the agriculture land, Christian Vikana space, Stalam, Namaka, Koravan. So, within that limitation, our limited space is Namaka, agriculture product Kutan Engel, Namaka, wherever we are, we are going to go to the Patu. Because traditional cultivating plants are not enough to satisfy the requirement. Upon our limited land, we have agricultural product put in the land, we have varieties in the land. In the 1960s, India, Dr. M. Swaminathan leadership in the Great Revolution. That's why in 1955, 1960s, the world is a part of the agriculture evolution. One part of the experiment is not a very good thing. That's why we have to do the same thing. We have to do the same thing. And remember that during the 1960s, Mexico was in the development of the 1960s. That is developed in Mexico. Mexico was a scientist who is not called as Normal Ernst Berlong. Normal Ernst Berlong. He lived. He started the development in Mexico. Mexico is International Center for Wheat and Rice Improvement in Mexico. Mexico is International Center for Wheat and Maize Improvement in the 1960s. Normal Ernest Berlong. He developed wheat and rice in the development of the world. experiments And the maize in the variety. Wheat in the maize in the varieties in the 1960s. That explains from 
two varieties were developed Mexican varieties called as Sonalica and Kalyan Sona are developed Sona are developed so like Mexican varieties are developed in 1960s and that 1960s by developed varieties in Mexico then after that 1963 number here and the varieties developed the Sonaliga and Kalyan Sona 1963 Sonaliga and Kalyan Sona are wheat varieties then the wheat in the Nalla improved varieties India Lake introduced to the Green Revolution day basis on the Varia then comes 1960 and she 1966 around 1966 varieties were developed International Rice Research Institute at Philippines. See, Philippines in International Rice Research Institute and I on the varieties in and see IR8. It developed by semi dwarf varieties of rice. 1966 Anna developed in the Philippines in International Rice Research Institute. Le, Eternal dwarf variety of rice developed in the IR8 in dwarf variety developed in other India Lake introduced in 1966. Then from Taiwan, Taiwan is a variety of Taitung Nati 1. Taitung Nati 1. One was introduced from Taiwan. In the Taiwan introduced a variety of See, Taiwan, Philippines, the development of the other India like in the region. Later, India, Jaya, Letna, the varieties of rice and the varieties are introduced. That's why we have the Green Revolution. So, actually, the development of agriculture in India and Taiwan is the Green Revolution. Then, after that, 1966, the Green Revolution was introduced. That's why the development of the Mexican variety is important. Normal Ernst Berlong, he is supposed to be the Green Revolution. Normal Ernst Berlong, he is supposed to be the father of green revolution in foreign country and he got Nobel Prize for 19, uh, Nobel, peace in Nobel Prize in 1970s that is green revolution in Mexico and maize research center and wheat research center and in the 1960s there are many varieties of wheat Right, wheat developed, maize in the variety developed in the Mexico in the 1960s and that's why we have the Green Revolution in the world and that's why we have the development in 1965 so this person developed in 1963 so Mexican varieties are developed and later in 1963 in India Sonaliga, Kalyan, Sola and all the wheat in the variety in the 66 hours in Philippines IR8 in the variety, International IR8 in the variety, International Rice Research Institute in the Philippines in the variety, IR8 in the variety, in the Taiwan, in the variety, 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 then, other comes, sugar cane in the variety, in the variety, in the variety, in the variety, Sugar cane ni variasi ni, sekarang barberry ni ni variasi ni, itu India country ni, sekarang barberry ni ni lah variasi ni India country ni ni, aduh mari, aduh yielding pola ni ni, pinne sekarang official ni ni lah, nyalah variasi ni ni, sekarang official ni ni, aduh India ni kalau yielding ni ni lah, aduh nama ni variasi ni ni lah, aduh nyalah variasi ni ni, angin sekarang barberry ni ni ni, sekarang official ni 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 and then India is going to be a sugar cane breeding center which is a cross and a good sugar cane variety in Daki so like that everybody varieties agriculture field rice, wheat, maize, sugar cane and all the varieties in 1960s you remember this variety Mexican varieties Sonaliga and Kalyan Sona are introduced to India then comes IR8 from Philippines rice variety from Philippines Taichung Nati 1 from Taiwan that can do all varieties of rice and these varieties can go to the data in India the green revolution started then last very important we have 2000 now we have 1960 and 1960 we have about 80 V2 rice we have 80 V2 last year 19 lakh tons of rice were developed in the world Produced in India, about 80 lakh tons of 
Veter developed in India, 1980, a cow, a three developed one that can satisfy food in the name, wheat in the name, rice in the name, we satisfy the other in the Nana in the agricultural development, I don't know, food in the case, and export in the wheat and rice in the country, Mari, Athanalai, developed in India, developed agriculture field. So remember that there are certain varieties introduced to India. Then comes what are the purposes? He main I am a field leader, agriculture field leader, in the honor, in the Vendi honor, in the varieties in the prime breeding, in the honor, in the number of examples, we can go through that. First of all, the improvement of agriculture for the production of disease resistant varieties. See how we can create disease resistant varieties. Plant breeding for producing disease resistant variety. In the number of chain of the disease resistant variety in Dakan, number in the other chain of the disease resistant stands to Kudalana. You know that almost all the cultivating plants are attacked by various diseases, especially it is by fungus, bacteria, and virus. Various fungus diseases are there, especially that come from the rainy season that occurring to rubber or tapioca or like that diseases will come cock and also then virus diseases come bacterial diseases will come to the cultivating plants and it is estimated that 20 to 30 percent of the agricultural products are destroyed by diseases and even more in India because of the tropical climate tropical climate area nalla climate tana nalla Rainfall on nalla sunlight on India ke tropical region Rajana, a nalla climate on nalla climate in the Protega, nalla sunlight on nalla rainfall on a nalla sunlight and rainfall on bacteria, fungus, and multiply, they will multiply very fastly. A fungus and bacteria come on disease causing organisms are called as pathogens. You may remember the term called as pathogens. Pathogens will attack the host plants. Host plants then attack to you. Apo pathogens in the water check Avishamaya, Nalla climate jana in the tropical climate jana, and that is subtropical or temperate climate from the virus or bacteria in the water. So, various plant diseases occur in India. Almost all the plants are attacked by uh, this part. Uh, uh, comes up, wheat and rice, etc., are attacked by fungus mainly. So, we are now trying this. Trying to find out new varieties. We attack here because we are depending on area. Agriculture is a disease very poor. Namadine, Uribar, medicine spray to you. Chemicals are spraying. Fungus in attack and fungicide. Again, bacteria and bacterial side of the apply. No, I'm going to chemical based agriculture. I'm going to die. No, production put on Monday. Disease prevent here. Number of water. Fun chemicals spray to you. A chemical spray to you more. Other body and beyond the issues and dark. So, Namaka can reward chemicals you see and Patula. We cannot use such kind of chemicals to agriculture because that will cause air, soil, and water pollution. So, we are trying to find out an alternative. We cannot depend upon chemicals. Our chemicals number of health problems for water, environmental issues of dark no, human beings, animals, no, water, dangerous effect in dark no, so we cannot use more chemicals in the field of agriculture. So, for that purpose, we are trying to find out disease resistant variety. Number of agriculture, chemicals in the use of Korakar, number of the we have to find out new varieties which can resist the attack of pathogens, fungus, bacteria and virus we are trying to find out Adana, namana aim adana plant in thanne chemicals ne depend on patula chemicals ne depend on agriculture hazardous ana so we are trying to find out create new varieties which can resist the pathogens namana lecture madana inde ile oru vaadu varieties develop edu one of the varieties of wheat to rice so develop with one text or page number column number 9.1 under 9.1 or tabular column and text and then text video I will give that and then the site I have downloaded 
then virus disease virus disease will come tobacco mosaic disease will come that comes by from virus disease on and tobacco disease on and wheat no sugar cane no tobacco or the plant ma ke oru paar disease attack irunu appo nammal endu irunu we are trying to find out new varieties ee disease resistance illa varieties nammal oru paar develop irunu adu ningale text le 9.1 ennalla kolathile important ayad varieties na peru thannittunde edu disease na resist cheyanu parannittunde you try to find out that it is not in the da you find out that and study that develop from very thoroughly then see nammal engeyana varieties undakkum See how we can create disease resistant varieties. Two methods are done. Number three, the varieties are done. Put the variety in the number. We have to study the raw, the normal the raw variety study. You know, when the disease is done, na the cause is more than just that. Na, ah, or just that. We are not going to do. When the medicine is done, we are not going to do. We are studying the raw. So we can. Number two, the third one, the traditional one, the third one, the number disease resistant variety in the number. One cross hybridization. हमने पढ़ा ना मेथड आना cross hybridization लेने में traditional method पंडे की नाम चेंज दो पंडा यानी ने इस लह ये method आ चेंज दे hybridization आना crossing आना हमने explain चेंज दो पढ़ा आधा five stages हमने पढ़ा ना अधिक अंडर stages में कुछ हमने discuss चेंज दो traditional आना मेथड आना आ मेथड बच्चे तो हमने इन्हें चेंज हमारे असिस्टेंट आये वैरायटी, डिसीजन असिस्टेंट ना वैरायटी, ये वर्ड दम कलेक्टिव तो बोलते हैं बिगल कलेक्टिंग वैरायटीज विच कैन रसिस्ट द डिसीज, देन क्रॉसिंग इट आर नॉर्मल वैरायटी, सी और एक वैरायटी डिसीज असिस्टेंट ने वैरायटी आना, ये वैरायटी ने इधर डिसीज असिस्टेंट � This is a resistant variety. If we are going to collect it, that variety is our normal variety. We are going to collect it. We are going to collect it. This is a disease variety. This is a resistant variety. We are going to collect it. We are going to get a hybrid variety. We are going to get a hybrid variety. This hybrid variety is going to be a disease resistant variety. This is the traditional method crossing of the normal variety with the disease resistant variety and produce a hybrid in the home. A hybrid in a disease resistant character in the home. Again, we have to do cross hybridization or crossing. Steps and done to a child. We carry out. We have to do the same thing. We have to follow the method of germplasm collection. Collection of variability. Selection of the parent. You select the parent. Cross hybridization, third step. Emasculation, bagging, crossing. Fourth one, selection of the superior recombinant. And that one, all right, okay? All right, select it, you know. Then, testing, releasing and commercialization of the variety. ये अंदर स्टेज है, हमारे अंदर एक पीछे तो बंदों में पीछे नहीं ला, अंगने आना है, हमारा cross hybridization, crossing इन दाला, traditional ला या method. So, how we can develop disease resistant variety in your child? Answer is that by the process of crossing or cross hybridization. In what are the steps of creation of disease resistant variety in your child? You write the same answer. Now, this is the next step. The next step is the next step. This variety in the next step is the next step. Then, what is another method? This is another method. Latest method is the 1980s development method. That method is we call it as that method is called as mutation breeding. See? Mutation breeding. 
This is the second method called mutation breeding. You might have heard about the term called mutation. What is mutation? This is the latest type method. Mutation Aryam. Who introduced the term? Okay, evolution of the world is a theory in the theory of mutation in the theory. Evolution of the world is a theory. Do you know who introduced the term mutation? Mutation is a word for another Aryam Hugo de Vries Anna. See, mutation theory in the key. And what is mutation to which out there? Sudden heritable changes in the genotype of an organism is called mutation. Sudden aya, heritable aya, change aya in mutation over in the door. Plant it down now. Sudden aya, orgasm down now. Sudden changes aya. Mutation over in the door. Devery sana, word in the door. So, mutation breeding chaya. Sudden heritable changes. Or plant it down now. Mutation in the farm. And substances causing mutation are called as Mutagens. See, substances causing mutation are called mutagens. Mutation is called substances. Mutagens. Or maybe there may be chemicals or radiations. Other chemicals are chemicals are allegal radiations are the end of the number mutation in the car may be caused by chemicals or even x-ray Namana you see in the x-ray polum Namaka structure gene structure the martin verita Mutation of the basic line number gene in the structure gene in the cardinal gene in the like a chromosome in the structure change with the lana mutation of this in the because you know that characters are controlled by gene or chromosome अब कैरेक्टर इंडा करने के लिए कैरेक्टर चेंज आ करने के लिए इन द कैरेक्टर चेंज आ करना डिसीज रेसिस्टेंस नहीं लाता कैरेक्टर मार्टी इट डिसीज रेसिस्टेंस के कैरेक्टर कंट्रोल करने के लिए और वो अर्जेंट से तो इन द कैरेक्टर ल मार्टन बेर करने के लिए इन द मार्नम अधिन दे जीन मार्नम जीन आना कैरे� Chromosome in the gene in the structure of the process of the mutation of the mother. Sudden heritable changes are. Now, when you have a mutation in the doctor, there are substances called mutagens. Mutation in the doctor, there are substances called mutagens. Now, mutagens is radiation or chemicals. Even chemicals. Nitrous acid or ethyl methyl sulfonate or a bar chemical sublimate in the radiation sava other x ray ava gamma ray ava ultra radiation also cause mutation that is dava number of ozone layer and down the whole of it uv radiations number of body even mutations or cancer causing is there so like that x ray ava gamma ray ava ultra radiation ava other kick or the other नमक रेडी मतलब क्या कैरेक्टर मार्टा म्यूटेशन डाका नमक एक्सरे लेकिन तो बोले फ्रीक्वेंसी पूरी आ गया नमक लो फ्रीक्वेंसी लाने एक्सरे लेकिन तो आई एक्सरे बोले फ्रीक्वेंसी पूरी आ गया नमक जीन ने बाद ही क्यों सो रेडिएशन सारे केमिकल सक्का उपयोग चित्र नमक इन्दे या ये प्लांट ने इधर प्लांट ना आएंगे आप प्लांट नमक रेडिएशन करता है केमिकल करता है अधिन नेंदु बारों जीन इन द स्ट्रक्चर बारों क्रोमोसोम इन द स्ट्रक्चर बारों अगेन जीन दे ओ स्ट्रक्चर दे ओ स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ क्रोमोसोम दे ओ स्ट्रक्चर मार्टी इट नमक इन्दु डाका कैरेक्टर मार्टी डाका Resistant variety are marked out by giving radiations or mutation. And then mutation will put your variety in that process in a we call it as mutation breeding in the body. And the mutation in that your plant in the mutation that your plant up with three plant in that your the radiation with that our plant in the plant in the market select to change your our plant in the in the morning in our plant in the select in the market in the market. So, mutation is called to the plant, radiation is called to the plant. That means, this radiation is called to the plant, this plant is called to the plant, this plant is called to the local plant. So, you can use this variety of direct acid cultivation, this plant is called to the local variety of the cross native to the variety. Anyhow, disease resistant varieties can be produced by two methods. 
one our conventional method of traditional method of cross hybridization by using the five stages namal andu parna anju stages allengil first one latest type method ana by mutation namak radiation kodutho chemicals umai treat cheyitho gene chromosome changes varthiyittu pudhiya variety undaaka anganeyana രണ്ട് മെത്തേഡ് നമ്മൾ ഇന്ത്യയിൽ പ്രാക്ടീസ് ചെയ്തത് അത് മ്യൂട്ടേഷൻ ബ്രീഡിംഗ് ആയാലും അതിന് ഒരുപാട് ലിമിറ്റേഷൻസ് ഉണ്ട് ഒരുപാട് തകരാറുകളൊക്കെ ഉണ്ട് അത് നമുക്ക് പിന്നെ ഡയറക്റ്റ് പറ്റിയാൽ നമുക്ക് ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യാം സോ ഇത് മുമ്പ് മ്യൂട്ടേഷൻ മീൻസ് സഡൻ ഹെൽത്തബിൾ ചേഞ്ചസ് ആർ കോൾ മ്യൂട്ടേഷൻ സബ്സ്റ്റൻസസ് കോസിംഗ് മ്യൂട്ടേഷൻ ആർ കോൾ മ്യൂട്ടാജൻസ് ദേ മേ ബി കെമിക്കൽസ് ഓർ റേഡിയേഷൻസ് അത് അങ്ങനെയുള്ള രണ്ട് മെത്തേഡ് ആ പ്രൊസസ്റ്റൻ വെറൈറ്റി ഉണ്ടാക്കാം ആ വെറൈറ്റിനെ കുറിച്ച് ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് നിങ്ങൾ ടെക്സ്റ്റില് നയൻ പോയിന്റ് വൺ കോളം നയൻ പോയിന്റ് വണ്ണില് ഡീറ്റെയിൽഡ് ആയിട്ട് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് ആ നയൻ പോയിന്റ് വണ് നിങ്ങൾ കൃത്യമായിട്ട് പഠിക്കണം അത് പരീക്ഷക്ക് ചോദിച്ച കാര്യങ്ങളാണ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ഡിസീസ് അസിസ്റ്റന്റ് വെറൈറ്റി ക്യാൻ ബി ഡെവലപ്ഡ് ബൈ ദിസ് മെത്തേഡ് ടു മെത്തേഡ്സ് ആർ ദേ സോ നയൻ പോയിന്റ് വൺ നിങ്ങൾ ടേബിൾ കോളം ഭാഗമാക്കി പഠിക്കാം ദെൻ കംസ് ടു നെക്സ്റ്റ് ടോപ്പിക് അനദർ method or another use of plant breeding is for producing insect resistant varieties insect resistance insect resistant varieties so it is estimated that 25% of the cultivating plants were distributed by destroyed by insect where insects are there we call it as pests are there see insects and other organisms will destroy uh, agriculture cultivating plants were destroyed even after the harvesting seeds are also destroyed by insect pests so in india agriculture loss takes place by this this insect and like pest so we are trying to find out what are the methods and plants are showing various adaptations normally cultivating plants are by now in moving the agriculture now we are cultivating plants have no resistance because in the past plants have this they have their own adaptations for insect resistance they have adaptations see plants have various adaptations to resist the insect and they may be the resist the, the resistance can be they can resist the insect they may be morphological see the resistance may be see i have write here morphological resistance and or may be physiological resistance or may be biochemical resistance biochemical resistance so in the past we are not depending upon this kind of insecticide see the chemical substances used for killing insects are called as insecticide now agriculture you see that when we are cultivating vegetables we are daily or uh, twice or thrice in a week we are spraying the insecticide that like giving to some other chemicals substances causing in uh, destroying the insects are called as killing the insects are called as insecticide and the agriculture field is depending upon insecticide without insecticide agriculture cannot products cannot be produced nowadays because of the warm condition insects will increase so it will destroy the cultivating plant so that will reduce the production and control our economy so now we are completely spraying insecticide but insects are also dangerous to the environment when we want mend or the health human health so we are trying to minimize the use of insecticide in the field of agriculture so we are trying to find out new varieties which are insect resistant and insect resistance in the past plants have their own resistance to in resist the insect insect resist yanalla oru vaada adaptations pand undayirunnu and that include morphological resistance ചില പ്ലാന്റ്സിന്റെ ലീഫിന്റെ മേലെ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഫ്രൂട്ടിന്റെ മേലെ സ്പൈൻ ഉണ്ടാവും ഹെയർ ഉണ്ടാവും അതൊക്കെ ആ സ്പൈൻ ഹെയറൊക്കെ മോർഫോളജിക്കൽ റെസിസ്റ്റൻസി ആണ് കണ്ടിട്ടുണ്ടാവും ഫ്രൂട്ട്സിന്റെ മേലെ ലീഫിന്റെ മേലൊക്കെ സ്പൈനും ഹെയറൊക്കെ ഉണ്ടാവും തൊട്ട് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ചിലപ്പോ അത് ഇറിറ്റേറ്റിംഗ് ആയിരിക്കും അത് റെസിസ്റ്റൻസി ആണ് ഇൻസെക്ട് റെസിസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാനാണ് മോർഫോളജിക്കൽ ഫിഷ്യോളജിക്കൽ റെസിസ്റ്റൻസി ഉണ്ട് 
ഇൻസെക്ട് റെസിസ്റ്റൻസി ഉണ്ടാക്കാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ടാണ് യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് രണ്ട് കാര്യങ്ങളാണ് ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്തത് ആ രണ്ട് കാര്യങ്ങളും രണ്ട് ഫോളോ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആണ് അതാണ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ളത് ഇനി വേറെ കാര്യത്തിൽ കൂടി ഉപയോഗിക്കാറുണ്ട് നല്ല ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് വെറൈറ്റി ഉണ്ടാക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി ഉപയോഗിക്കാറുണ്ട് ബയോ ഫോർട്ടിഫിക്കേഷൻ ഉണ്ട് ടിഷ്യൂ കൾച്ചർ വരാറുണ്ട് അതൊക്കെ നമുക്ക് ഡീറ്റെയിൽ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യാം ഇന്ന് ചെറിയ ടോപ്പിക് ആണ് ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്തത് സോ ഗോ ത്രൂ ദാറ്റ് രണ്ട് നോട്ട് കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ചെയ്യാം ഒന്ന് ക്ലാസ് ഒന്നോ രണ്ടോ പ്രാവശ്യം ശ്രദ്ധിക്കാം സോ താങ്ക് യു നമുക്ക് നാളത്തെ കഴിഞ്ഞ